While on the subject of fireworks, even though their prices have not gone up in the coastal bend, sales are down. And for those planning to pop fireworks where it is legal, our Brian Burns found one fireworks stand operator who thinks it's inflation that's keeping people from buying. We're seeing a little slump in sales. It seems like, you know, the high prices, the economy, people have a lot less disposable income, and we're kind of feeling that, you know, on, on things like this. Uh, non-necessary items. Jason Pettis and his family operate Mr. W's Fireworks on Weber Road. Imports of fireworks reached a peak in 2022 of almost $600 million, according to the U.S. International Trade Commission. But today, just two years later, fireworks imports will only reach about $350 million in 2024. Pettis says his prices have stayed flat. For the last few years, our prices have not gone up. Uh, we, every year or every season, which is twice a year, we get a new pricing list and we make sure we update our pricing on the shelves and we have not seen an increase in any products. Some analysts say the cancellation of public fireworks displays during the pandemic led to an increase in sales, but now people have pulled away from buying. We surveyed some drivers and most have scaled back or stopped buying fireworks altogether. Probably more this time because I didn't buy too much last year. So the price doesn't really have a big impact on, on how much you plan to get? Well, it's going to have an uh, impact, of course. Uh, you know, uh, once I get there, I'll find out with the price, how much they've gone up. We just don't buy them anymore, and the prices are high, too. No one to buy them for this year. My wife's working, kids are all, all doing their thing. I, just, I grew out of the habit, and the, all, everybody in the family is growing up. Pettis says look for deals anywhere you buy fireworks for the best prices. Brian Burns, 3 